How do you think like an entrepreneur? I've been a freelancer for the last five years and have been doing contract work on and off for most of my life. So I wanna share three insights that I have around how to think like an entrepreneur. Three concepts are measure your time, leverage your time, and focus your time. So what does it look like to measure your time? You probably heard the term key performance indicators. Well, uh, Jim Collins, the author of Good to Great, uses three stopwatches to measure his time. He will allocate 50% of his time towards creative activities, 20% towards teaching, and then 30% towards everything else. And so anytime he's doing something, he starts a stopwatch and he uses that to just measure his effectiveness and figure out, am I doing the things that I need to do that I know will contribute to my success? For other entrepreneurs, it's gonna look something different. It may not be their time the way Jim Collins does it, but they all have key performance indicators that they're using to figure out, are they being effective and to course correct. So Jim Collins, at the end of every week, tabulates what his hours are and figures out the ratio and if he needs to adjust that ratio and how he needs to do that. So there's a feedback loop involved in measuring his time and measuring his effectiveness. As far as leveraging your time, uh, there's one key um, kind of business model that Naval Ravikant shares in his post, uh, How to Get Rich. The post is fantastic. It started as a Twitter thread and then he uh, elongated it into a really uh, great interview. And he shares three business models that give you leverage. The area that I wanna share is on low marginal cost. Finding things that you can do something once and then get paid over and over again for that. So he talks at length about what this would look like, but some of my examples would be a photographer that does headshots. They're just trading time for money. So they go and they take pictures of somebody at a park or wherever, and then they give them the photos and they really can't use those photos again. Whereas other photographers might take a, a longer time and do a really awesome shot or go, go travel somewhere and take some really great pictures. And then they might sell those over and over and over again. So they worked once, but they're leveraging their time uh, through low marginal cost of those prints don't cost very much. Uh, but they're the only ones that have rights to it and they can sell those prints over and over again. The third area I wanna share with you is around focusing your time. David Perel, an online teacher and writer, shares a blog post called Personal Monopolies. It is a fantastic post around finding out what makes you creative, what makes you unique, and pushing into that and figuring out how can you share that uniqueness with other people. And so that skill set and that uniqueness combined with what the world needs uh, forms this intersection that no one else can compete with because it's you, it's your personal monopoly. So I love that concept and that's something that I'm working on doing myself uh, because I have a lot of unique things about me. Uh, and I want to find what will work and how I can help other people using my special uniqueness. So uh, hopefully you learn from those three areas of focusing your time, leveraging your time, and measuring your time. If you have other uh, areas that you'd love to share, I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. And i um, excited to have you along on this journey of me discovering my personal monopoly.